Good morning and welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to beautiful Papua New Guinea. My name is Ryan. We're out here at Lele today in West New Britain, Papua New Guinea. And uh, we got on a 10% slope for this runway. We're going to take off, check out a volcano on the way back to Hoskins. So hopefully you guys enjoy this flight. We just reopened up this runway today just because, as you can see, it's got lots of ruts. It's usually super soft, super muddy. So this is the first takeoff out of here in quite a while. So I'm going to determine if it's all good and safe to do. I have two more flights out here today. I don't want to destroy it any more than it already is. It looks really good and firm. Position my prop so I don't suck up any rocks or anything. Yeah, that looks really good. Usually you're sinking like terrible in here. All right, fuel caps are done, controls. Turn off Betty for sure on this one. She'll be screaming at us that uh, there's terrain ahead of us. We're gonna head back at 8,000 feet. We can cool off. It's not even that hot out. It's only 28 degrees Celsius right now, but it feels pretty good. All right, switches and instruments, I'm pretty much uh, empty. I've got 480 pounds of fuel. And I don't have any seats on board, and I have some empty fuel drums, so I'm not going to put any cargo in because it evens itself out. So we're 5,100, so rotate at 53 knots. I think that's even slower than a 152. If we do need to come back in, we're going to set back up our V-Ref at 61 knots, and our rotator V-Climb at uh, 53 knots. Right, flaps are set, indicated at 20 and verified. If we do need to stop on this runway at the helicopter up there on my right is going to be a safer bore point. I'll be at least 40 knots at that point, probably nearly airborne. But full reverse, heavy braking, flaps up, cut off, pull off, cut off, pull off, and shut off. Cut off, pull off, and shut off, I should say. Pitch for 85, consider EPL, down to the river, off to the left a little bit, 80 full flaps. Master's off, crack my door, and hit my emergency button. All right, ignition is on. Moresby, Moresby, 6622, November, Tango Echo Taxi. November, Tango Echo Taxi, Lele, Hoskins, 1 POB. November, Tango Echo. All stations, Lele, 127.1, November, Tango Echo, taxiing Lele for Hoskins, 8,000, we're tracking 210. All right, ignition condition, flaps 20 and fuel and harnesses, 28 degrees, we're at 1,400 feet. So let's just go in between, so we're looking at 15.30, so 14, 14.80. Ignition condition, flaps 20 and fuel, everything is done. All right, here we go. All right, 1480. Oh, a little slippery. And we're going. There's 1480. Airspeed is alive. There's 51 knots. We'll climb out at 73. And that way I can get up to the volcano quickly. It's at 7,000 feet, just about eight miles away. All right, so we're climbing out at 740 on the ITT. The volcano is right there, super close. I'm actually gonna pitch over so I can have my best rate of climb. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get there even with 73 knots. And it's gonna get, I'm gonna get up there quicker if I do my best rate. So pitching over past 85 knots, reduce my flaps. Over 90 and climbing, zero degrees, reduce my prop down to 2,000 RPM. Set up my ITT for 720 for my best climb. Write down my departure numbers. Five, four, two, zero, and I'm gonna go ahead and text the helicopter. Let him know that he can go on with his day and he doesn't have to do any more shuttles out of there because I felt that it was fine. 
I'm going to connect my Bluetooth, put up my autopilot at least on heading mode, and go ahead and text him. Oops. So if you have the heading bug set up where you want. To go, strip is fine. All right. Call up Morsey. Morsey, 6622 November Tango Echo Departure. Good. November Tango Echo departed Lele 54, tracking 250 on climb 8000, estimating Hoskins 20. Resume. All right, so I'm just going to go hand fly it just because I'm going to fly under 100 knots. 100 knots is our minimum for our autopilot, and our best rate of climb starts at 99 knots and then goes down a knot for every 2,000 feet. So. Right now, I'm just trying to climb out at 97 knots so I can have my best case scenario on our climb so we can get up to that volcano as soon as possible. I'm at 720 on my ITT, 2,000 RPM, and my torque is right at 1,500 on this climb. Right now, I am empty, no seats, and I have maybe three drums of 60 kgs on board, and that is it. And I'm passing 5,000 feet, best rate of climb, and I'm climbing out at 1,500 feet per minute. So, just a testament how cool the Kodiak actually is. It's pretty awesome, especially at sea level. This thing like takes off like a rocket. It's awesome. All right, I gotta go ahead and clean up now. Lights are off, ignition is off, and the engine is back back to normal. So behind me, that way, about 10 miles is, um, I, I think they call this like the grandfather and then the sun, that's what these volcanoes are. There's a volcano here and a volcano right there. That's the one that erupted last year um, and it went up to like six plus thousand feet or so, the ash did, it was pretty incredible. And it's only 12 miles from the location I just landed. Now that we are leveled off, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring my power lever back, and that's going to bring my torque back to 1250. It's going to be my cruising torque. There you go. And as long as my ITT is below 700, that is good. All right, here we are, right over top of the volcano. I'll do a little quick fly around for you, so you can see down inside of it, and it's just a divot. It is really cool, though. In the top, there's a couple just dry spots. Wouldn't that be cool to camp out up there? And say so you camped out on top of a uh, volcano. Bank around a little one more time so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Now you can say you've seen inside a volcano. Not really an active one, but nonetheless, inside of a volcano. I am going to try to show you how short the Kodiak 100 can actually stop and uh, land on the runway and stop on the runway. Now, granted, I am only have about I only have about an hour worth of fuel on board. I don't have any seats on board and I've got three empty drums of fuel, so I'm pretty much just empty at the lowest weight that I can come in anyways. So if you switch over here to the aux page, I'm going to be landing with 4,990 pounds or like for the whole airplane. And on my landing chart, I can come in at the slowest speed of 60 knots, so basically like a 152 or something. So anyways, yeah, super, super slow. The runway actually butts up right to the edge of the coast here at Hoskins. We're in Western Britain, Papua New Guinea today. And I'm only about four minutes out from the runway. Coming in at 165 knots indicated and 1,200 foot on my descent. What I'm going to try to do on this one is I'm going to try to touch down right at the threshold. Now as we come in, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. But there's a threshold and then there's a taxiway that's right at 500 foot marker. So I'm going to try to touch down at the threshold and stop by the first taxiway at 500 feet. And I mean, yeah, we do have reverse in this and I'll do heavy braking and stuff, but either way, 
this is a really cool airplane and I like flying it and I want to show how cool it is to you guys as well. So I'm just a few minutes out, 10 minutes or 10 miles out. I'm going to go ahead and start up my checklist here. My selectors are on, my brakes are good. Our terrain awareness system, we're just going to leave on. Our VREF, I've already set up at 60 knots. Our landing light is on and I have my pulse line on as well, which is our taxi light and it can go with pulse. We'll get the um, inlet in a minute if we do need to go around for birds or whatever else. So we're going to power up straight ahead or maneuver as required. Pitch for 73, 20 degrees of flaps and reset our power up to 740 on the ITT. We'll do prop here in a minute. I'm coming in at 172. My max on this airplane is 182. So I'll just keep it right at 170. Up and harness. We'll get just a second. All stations, Hoskins, 127.1, November Tango, Echo, striking for a left base, runway 1, 2, Hoskins. All right. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a life vest and my life raft is right here, we just went over some open water, and I was kind of right on the border of where my glide is, so I might as well just bring it along, because I can, and never know. I'm going to keep my speed all the way up until I'm about three miles out. Coming in at 170. This plane is a really cool plane. Like You could go into like a big airport, come in at 106, 170 knots, nearly all the way down to the runway, and then just chop everything, push the prop forward, and, and still land on the 1,000-foot marker. It's a really cool plane. And just once you start, if you pull idle all the way and put the prop, prop forward, this thing is like a break, and it just completely throws you forward. So, I am 2.9 miles out, 171 knots, autopilot off, prop forward, and we'll bring our torque all the way back, probably 200 foot-pound of torque. All stations, Hoskins, November Tango Echo, entering left base, runway 1, 2, Hoskins. 138 knots, 10 degrees of flaps. My pass is on, SAR is done, Props and, or prop and harness are good, 20 degrees of flaps, I'm at 800 I'm really close, I'm pretty much at the end of the runway right this minute, so it's going to be a little bit closer of a uh, pattern, but that's all right. So I want 60 knots on my final, so I want 70 knots on my base. At 740 and still just like a mile and a half from the end of the runway. So as we turn final, the 500 foot markers are directly on the taxiway. So looks like where the painted lines are, the threshold is the very where they start measuring. So I'm going to try to touch down right on the threshold so that I can stop right on 500 foot marker. All right, flaps are done full. Our checklist is complete. Slowing to 70 right now, I'm on my base. I'm at 500 feet right now and a 1.4 nautical miles from the end of the runway. Five hundred. All right, turning final now and slowing to 60 knots. centered up very well. Let me go ahead and get centered up. Fine to 60, 60 knots. I'm at 64. I've got three knots on the headwind. It's definitely does help. There's 61 knots. 550 feet on the descent rate. There's 60 knots. Oh, that always scares me. That was a fuel drum. All right, flaps up. All right, there's the threshold. Uh, 
There's the 500 foot marker. That was kind of sloppy. That fuel drum scared me. When we come down, the fuel drums change pressure and then they make this big loud pop and it did it about 30 feet over the ground. Lost my train of thought. Anyways, if you guys thought that was cool, give me a thumbs up. Um, anyways, yeah, I think this plane's pretty cool. So uh, thank you guys for taking the time to watch. If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe and uh, leave a comment down below what you thought of that. So anyways, thanks guys for taking the time to watch and have a great one.